Place. The environmental controls here seem extremely strict. They're so big. Six to each side, with one directly across. Thirteen in all. Looks like each block has a name inscribed on it. You've got great eyesight. Hmm, let's see. Peter, Andrew, Boanerges, Thomas, John, um, Philip, Matthew, Bartholomew, James, Thaddeus, Simon, Judas. And the last one? It appears to say Marian Kind. Marian Kind. I think I've heard that somewhere. It means the child of Mary. This is where we store all the really dangerous items. Stuff like this. Zohars! Actually, they're all emulators. And they've all been sealed, including the one we just retrieved. Why are these Zohars here? Well, our corporation does dabble a little in everything. Besides, these days, you can't get by without having something to deal with the Gnosis. And we definitely can't wait around for the Federation to get off its lazy butt. What's in the room across from here? Nothing pleasant, I'll tell you that much. You're not going to show us? Trust me, it ain't something you'd want to see. Even if we were to consider the diversity of your businesses, you're still a Foundation, right? I mean, the weaponry on this ship far outclass those on any warship. Who are you people, anyway? We were more or less a government organization previously. Well, I guess if you want to see it that badly... You, you weren't gonna like it, didn't I? All of these specimens appear to be humans whose bodies turned into Gnosis. Transformed bodies. I've only heard of them before. 
Most people just turn white and shatter to pieces. But there are a few exceptions, and they end up like this. We've named this one Betty for now. It's hard to look straight at them, but I don't want to refer to them by some code name or number. It's just not right to treat the dead like mere objects. Is that a lady? She was a little girl. The last time we saw her. People turning into Gnosis? Have you learned anything about them? Not much. Plenty of Gnosis remains have been recovered to date. But nobody's learned a thing from them. You know what they're composed of? No. Sodium chloride. Plain old salt. Even their translucent bodies are mostly made up of water and sodium hydroxide. How can ordinary compounds like that form creatures like them? No one really knows why those who survive Gnosis encounters always turn into one of them. Some people think they're a new type of virus. Others say they're beings from another dimension who take on temporary forms in this one. Always? No exceptions? Nope. Not as far as I know. So they could be from another dimension? Wouldn't that mean that their true forms might exist somewhere else? Who knows? All that's certain is that they're hostile to humans. Not that such a sentiment is unique to them. Chief, is something wrong? You don't look so good. Huh? No, don't worry. It's nothing. So... So when did this all begin? Unofficially, phenomena like this have been occurring periodically over the past few centuries. But, after a certain incident, the Gnosis leapt into the forefront of history. A certain incident? The Milshin Conflict. Hmm? Joachim Mizrahi. It was he who opened Pandora's box and unleashed the Gnosis upon the galaxy. And we're all paying for his ambition. Joachim Mizrahi. The brilliant scientist who founded the UTIC organization. Brilliant? He was a lunatic. Unable to bear his curiosity, he invited the Gnosis into our world. Lunatic? The Foundation was established after the war by the newly formed Second Milshin government to clean up and investigate the facts behind the incident. Technically, that's our real job. Problem is, the funding's tight in peacetime. On top of that, running the Foundation takes a staggering amount of money, and the management of these Zohars ain't cheap either. So, we ended up privatizing part of our operations and became a Foundation. We never imagined that some of our side businesses would hit it so big, though. It wasn't like that.
What do you all think? Joachim is Rahi the lunatic? Was Daddy really like that? Since Daddy built us, does that mean we aliens are bad people too? Momo, we were looking all over for you. Hello, Xion. What's wrong? You look kind of down. Xion, I... I was created by Joachim Mizrahi. He designed the 100 series Realians back when the Federation funded him. I know. Xion, I... Daddy wasn't a lunatic. I don't even know what I am. Identity Diffusion. The Eternal Dilemma. Do you know about the environmental bugs on board this ship? They're actually nanomachines, you know. Used to keep in closed spaces like this clean. I'd say that of all the things Professor Mizrahi or anyone else created, they rank up there pretty high. These bugs may be man-made, but they function as if they've existed all along. Almost as if they were meant to be. I think realians are the same. The only difference between us is the length of our histories. But regardless of our origins, each one of us has an important role to fulfill in this world. Besides, I really doubt Dr. Mizrahi was a dangerous person like everyone makes him out to be. And it's not just because of the environmental bugs. The work he did on realians was incredibly insightful. The fundamental gnosis research Professor Misrahi left behind played a critical role in the development of modern anti-gnosis technology. Thanks for the backup, Cosmos. I'm really glad to see you react like that. Empathizing with the feelings of others is a major factor in human relationships. Although I do not believe that the current situation called for me to act in an empathetic manner, I am pleased to be of service to you. <laughs> I think Cosmos is really funny. Too bad she doesn't take instruction very well. I never got to meet Daddy. But he used to talk to me all the time before I was born. It's all a little hazy, but I remember him telling me that I could become a real person if I did good deeds. Really? That's a wonderful memory to have. Uh-huh. Chief! Great news! After this ship arrives at the Kukai Foundation, they're gonna take us to Second Milsha. <laughs> Second Milsha? Really? Apparently, they have some work to take care of out there. The captain's still whining about repairing the Elsa, but... Some work? I wonder... Huh? Well, I'm sure they've got their own reasons, but don't you think it's a little strange that everyone's heading for Milsha? Not really. It's probably just a coincidence. I'm just glad we saved some money. Not to mention that this ship's a million times better equipped than the Elsa. And we'll have nothing to worry about if we run into the Gnosis again. Hey, speaking of which, did you check out your room? They all have jacuzzis and mini bars and... Hey, what's wrong, Chief? <sighs> nothing, nothing. I'm just jealous of how easily swayed you are. <laughs>